Yo, testing, testing. Let's see if this works. Testing, testing. Testing. Okay, let's see. Oh man, I hear myself. That's good. Oh shoot. Yes. Okay, looks good. Looks good. I think I just want to make sure that I'm not like blocking out anything crazy, but I think it's good. I think it'll work. I think it'll work. Now I'm not going to see the comments on my screen, though, so I guess there's no sense in having it there on the screen. But I'll just keep it up on my phone. That works. I was not thinking about that. So I'll just uh, turn that off. That works. <coughs> All right, sweet. Uh, yeah, this is it. This is it. We're doing it. Except this thing keeps falling. There we go. That works. Um, let's just go reckless, because why not? And mm. the stream paused, I think, maybe, maybe not, maybe, I don't know, or maybe it's just delayed, it's probably just delayed. Go ahead and little do a little post, let everyone know. Let's see how long I can go without getting killed while I'm just totally not watching. Here we go. All right, where am I? Oh, okay. Oh, what? I ran into that? That's actually kind of cool. How perfect. Just ran right into safety without even meaning to. <sighs> so I played in church. Well, not, not in church. I played at church before the service started earlier. And I got like 46. Oh, what? That was dumb. my gosh right off the bat right off the bat okay sweet uh thank you McBeebs, McBeebus, I appreciate the support. I hope I win too. Uh, I want that. I didn't want that. Oh! My specialty move. Mm. Uh. not a hobby it's a lifestyle oh my gosh I almost want to grab that purple but it's pointless it's already got the gold oh shoot oh my gosh 
They played good music like one time and now they don't have it anymore. Just a warm up. That's just a warm up. Just a warm up. No stress. No worries. Is that uh, what's his face from Spider Verse? Not Vulture. No. Uh, why can't I remember his name now? What? No. Uncle Aaron. What was his name? What was his uh his villain name? I do not remember now. Unc. The Prowler. That's it, the Prowler, the Prowler. I cannot remember. Okay. Let's go to Pleasant. <laughs> All right, back to work. Oh my gosh, come on. I don't know why it randomly like glitches and just doesn't let me go through doors. I don't know why that happens so randomly. Gosh, where are you? Whoa, come on, where? Oh. oh my gosh, this is so tense. I'm so scared. Oh! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, my oh my mouse, no! I hit the side of my mouse and turned up the sensitivity. Oh my god. Alright, that was just a second warm up. Still just, just getting going, you know. I went to Kava today for lunch and I got the strawberry citrus and it is delicious. It's so good. All right, third time is the charm for sure. 
Third time is the charm. This is gonna be the one. Where's the main? Oh yeah, there's the main. Arm. <laughs> All right, let's go to the spot. The spot. This is the one. Pegasus. so funny. Oh, not the sensitivity again. Oh my gosh. Immortal mango. I need to move my mouse over. Yo, what's up, dude? How's it going? How's yours, uh, y'all's album going? You still working on that? Still cooking that up? I'm really excited to hear it once it drops. I hope I didn't like totally miss or anything. I've been trying to do my best to watch out, but I also do be missing stuff sometimes. Oh! There we go. Control Alt deleted. Yep, you were. like reorder that I know there's a way you can make it like automatically set to certain things and I I think I maybe did it actually at one point but I don't like whatever it's set to now I can't even remember if I did or what I don't even know I definitely have seen that one before. I know I've seen that one before. Oh, there, there they go, hitting the walls and stuff. Typical bot behavior. Oh. Gotta teach him, gotta teach him a lesson. The bot. <laughs> teach the bot a lesson, of course. Oh! Yo! Le 
Let's go. Yo, what's up, Will? How you doing, dude? You go to any good shows recently? I know that you saw Psycho Frame on that first one there at LCY, right? That's crazy, dude. So good. Gosh, I've seen like those birds. I thought that was someone running for a second. It's been going good. Oh. oh no. Shoot, man. I'm sorry to hear that. That's pretty darn frustrating for sure. The landlord doesn't know what they're. Oh! Classic. Classic. I'm sorry to hear that, though. I hope, uh, hopefully, he'll be able to find some time to get them together. I'm, I'm really hyped for it. Like, I loved the song that I got to take part on in here, and I think that was awesome. So, I'm sure if the, I'm sure the rest of the album's gonna be great, whether it's all similar or totally different from track to track or whatever. Oh, dude, you get to see him again. That's so sick. Which, uh, which tour is that on? I, cause I know that they're going on. I'm trying to remember. They're going on a run with someone like really sick, someone pretty prominent, at least for a couple days. But I'm totally blanking on what that is now. Or is this maybe just like a standalone show that they're doing or something? Either way, that's exciting to get to see them again. I just saw them post like a little bit earlier today about how today's the one year anniversary of their debut single, which is like just crazy to think about. Um, I can remember I first learned about them when me and my friend Tanner were driving up to Savannah, Georgia to go to Aura Fest last year in like June and then fast forward to this year and they played it and I got to see them there and play with them like less than a year after that which I just thought was serendipitous funny pretty cool they were crazy uh, I'm going to the spot again Honestly, honestly, that's just what I'm feeling. Oh, that's it. That's the, okay, yeah, 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 that's sick. Common enemy store. That one, that is a crazy lineup. I was, like, almost thinking about going, um, to, like, to, maybe it was the Atlanta or something, or Destin, Florida or something. Um, I'm not going to be able to, unfortunately, but this great lineup. That's going to be really sick. Nice, dude. That's awesome. I'm glad to hear uh, just about having other tracks in the words and other features. That's going to be sick. I really, like I said, I really did genuinely love um, the one that I got to hear. So keep me posted. Seriously. I, I look forward to jamming it. I am very excited for that. Recording vocals definitely can be frustrating sometimes. Like, especially when I still, like, lived at home earlier on and was, like, starting to do vocal stuff. Like... I always tried to time it so that no one was home whenever I was recording. I didn't, like, <laughs> didn't like recording with fam around for whatever reason. Just a little nervous, that's all. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, for real. I, that's still crazy. That was so awesome, though. Like, I love that we got to meet and, like, chat. And then later made the connection, like, oh, we're already friends online and everything. <laughs> that was so funny. That was so cool. Goaded. That was a crazy show, man. That that venue was really fun. Really enjoyed the dark roast. 
Everyone that played was sick. I got to see Divisive again just a couple weeks ago. They came through uh, here in Jacksonville. So that was awesome to see them again. It was really, really fun. But that, that whole thing was just a good... It was a good night. I definitely... We, we don't have anything else set up other than a festival in Illinois in, like, July. But I definitely hope that we can be able to get some more stuff set up kind of around, like, Tennessee and... I'd love to do something in Atlanta. I mean, most of the guys live there. It'd be cool to do a show that doesn't have a three to four hour drive back after. <laughs> that would be a lot of fun, though. Francisco, what about you? Do you have any uh, shows that you're going to coming up or anything that you've gone to recently? It's been pretty fun. Ooh, that's a good point. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we can look it out or something. I know I've been seeing a lot of the like the save the dark roast stuff that they've been doing. So I mean that's really cool, and I hope that that will. I hope that's beneficial. I hope that really helps just get some more traction and keep it running, keep it doing its thing. Louisiana would be fun, dude. I mean, I've never been there. Um. I don't honestly, I'm trying to think exactly. We're, we're going to be playing in Urbana, Illinois. That's the only thing that I know we have locked down at the moment. That might be like crazy far away though, of course. I don't know exactly. But in my mind, I would I would definitely love to be able to do some more stuff beyond just like, I mean, we've, we've done a lot of cool stuff around like the Southeast basically. And I would love to be able to do a little bit farther beyond that. Like we did Texas back in October, which was great. So that was a good bit of a stretch. Uh, whoa! We up. We are so up. out oh wow that's pretty cool but also the fact that it was three years ago dang man hopefully there can be some more stuff that comes by you sometime in the near future I know especially with festival season right now like there, there's a couple cool tours that are coming here in like early May but then there's not really anything that I know of till like the fall which I guess is kind of normal more or less but even so. Dude, feel free to add me. My name on Epic is, right now at least, it's quite literally just my name. Robert Manzoni. That is it. I should probably change it, but I haven't. Uh, that's what I'm working with right now. Oh my gosh. Now Chris, on the other hand, is going... <laughs> oh, yeah? Hey, what's up, Kevin? How you doing, dude? Good to see you, bro. Um, That's pretty sick that Chris is going to some shows, at least. Where, uh... Are, are you guys in the same city or the same area, at least? Or where is where is he living now? I know you said that he, like, had landlord issues, so I know he sounds like he's somewhere else.
Oh. The skeleton. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so funny. What are concerts? Oh, dude. Trust me, man. I would love that. I would genuinely love that. I'm, I'm hoping. We've we've reached out. We've a lot of very nice people have tagged and reached out and stuff too. So, you know that would be sick. But I do honestly think at this point, since we haven't heard anything, it probably won't happen. But I am going though. I got a ticket, so I am going. I'm excited. I've never been to first Furnace Fest, so that'll be cool. Um, Kevin, to answer your question, concerts are uh, one of the greatest gifts in this life other than the free gift of love and salvation through our faith in Jesus Christ. That's number one. Concerts are number two. Um, oh, Missouri, I didn't realize it was that far. Shoot. Have you gotten to visit him and see him in his place there yet at all? I'm not great with my geography, so I don't know exactly how close that is to Louisiana. That's, I mean, Midwest-ish, right? I don't know. I'm just a musician, man. I don't know anything. I don't know any lines other than that. So sad. <laughs> okay, where is the action? Where is everyone? There we go. Accepted. Why does it drop it so far? Why do that? I don't understand. It used to be like 20, 30 meters away, whatever. I don't know why it's doing like 100 now. We'll roll with it. All right, this is the one, so. If there's ever a time that I'm going to win, this is it. Uh. Oh, there's a buddy. <laughs> That would have been so good if I had like switched over and driven back a couple sec a couple seconds earlier. Wow. <laughs> I'm so I'm so pretty proud with that play though. That was funny. <laughs> okay. Well, hey, that's good. Yeah, I'm glad you at least got to see him for the holidays. And I mean, yeah, seven hours. That, I mean, that's definitely a good bit. I know that's not like a, it's not like an easier like day trip, of course, but there and back, you know, but I'm glad that he's at least relatively close. At least he's not like across the country or a totally different country or something, but hopefully you'll get to hang with him again soon. Who all uh who all is like in your band? Is it just you two? 
or is there anyone else um, that does like other instrumentals or or other instruments, I guess? Or is it just kind of a bro thing? Definitely a decent drive, I agree. I get, I'm pretty spoiled because like, we don't always get too many great shows in Jacksonville. I will say we do have like three or four good ones coming up this year, which is pretty cool. But normally we don't have that many, but I do have Orlando, Florida, like two and a half hour, two, two and a half hours away, more or less. Um, so it's like, you know, sometimes that feels like a crazy long drive and a stretch, but like compared to seven hours, that's not bad at all. So I really cannot complain. Really can't complain. Yo, what's up, dude? How you doing? Good to see you, man. Dang, so cool to have such a squad up in here. Hope everyone's having a blessed Sunday so far. What did everyone have for lunch? Let me, I'll, I'll talk about my lunch while everyone is typing and explaining their meals. I went to, as I said earlier, I went to Cava and I got a Mediterranean, like Greek bowl. It had, um, it, it had some good rice, some good greens, had some delicious chicken, some hummus and feta cheese, some tomatoes. Oh my gosh. Holy moly, it was good. I might have shed a singular tear. Uh, just over how delicious it was. Might have. I didn't say I did. I didn't say I did. I just said maybe. Could have happened, you know? There's a world in which I might have cried when I ate it just because of how good it was. Oh! 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 Who did that? Who did that? Hold on, I'm gonna read these in a second. Sorry, y'all. Oh! Oh! Oh, that didn't count for me, though, did it? Oh, shoot! Oh! No, no, no! Banana! Banana! No! Ha <laughs> Gosh. All right. Ready up. Uh, let's see. <laughs> What's lunch? Hold on. Let me go back. Okay. Okay. So it is just Francisco and Chris. And that's sick, dude. That's awesome. I love that. That's really cool. It sounds really good, too, though. Like, the quality. Like, I mean, you do a great job mixing and mastering everything. So that's awesome, too. I love that. Um... Leftover chicken and pasta? Dude, honestly, that sounds delicious. That sounds so good. You can't beat that. Chicken and pasta is like a perfect combo, you know? Uh, Whataburger, classic. I love Whataburger too. I've got uh, one that's like 10 minutes away from me. I used to have one that was like two minutes away. That was honestly really dangerous. So as sad as I am that they closed it, it's honestly kind of a good thing at the same time. But now it's a Chipotle. So that's honestly not much better because I go to that at least once a week, if not more. I think this week I've went like two or three. Uh, ground beef. Some, ooh, Puerto Rican rice. That sounds good too. Jeez, man. Half a cup of coffee and your will to live. You know, honestly, I respect it. I'm trying to be better about eating breakfast. I'm trying so hard and I do enjoy it, but sometimes it's just the coffee that I get and 
I feel that. <laughs> That's so funny, though. Rip, man. This keeps, like, drifting down. All right. The Mount of Olives. Man, what a burger sounds so good. <laughs> Uh Kevin, the one time that I came to your state of Texas, I got in and out. Not Whataburger, because I have Whataburger, but I did get in and out because they had it there, which surprised me. And it was pretty good too. I really enjoyed it. Um it was like 12.30 in the morning when I slid through and everyone was so nice and peppy and awake. I was like, wow, this is pretty abnormal from my experience with late night restaurant runs like that. Fast food runs. Restaurant. Fine dining establishment. But it was pretty good. I was also just starving, so maybe that's kind of why I liked it so much, but it was still good either way. Oh. Oh no. Why did I get in and out? I know, dude. It Honestly, it was because that I saw that they had them there. And I'd never been. I've never been to California or anywhere that has them. And I, just, when I saw they had one down the road from the venue we played. I was like, well, shoot, man. I've got to go. Because I had to catch a flight back home in like five hours. So it's not like I was like hanging very long or anything. So, yeah, I got in and out, and I'm proud of it. Was it the best burger I've ever had? No. But was it good? Sure. It was good. Whoa. Hey, yo. What other, is there anything else in Texas that's, like, unique to Texas, or at least... Like, just not many other places. Like, I feel like Whataburger is kind of one of those things. But again, like, I also have those in Jacksonville, so I'm just kind of used to that. But maybe that's not... That's not something that's common outside of, like, Florida and Texas. I don't know. Whoa, what the... All right, I'm back. I think we're good. I think we're good now. Hopefully, it seems like we're good. Okay, if we're good, if if anyone wants to comment, I'm the, I just I turned it back on. I just I turned it back on. I think we're back. If anyone wants to comment and say anything, like yeah, it's back. You're here. You're good. Um, on my end, it looks good. I think we up now. Sorry about that. Okay, good, good. Good, 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 good. Sorry about that. Appreciate the understanding. Um, thank God I didn't get killed. <laughs> That's kind of cool. That is pretty cool, honestly. So I'm trying to, I'm, I'm like forgetting whatever I was talking about, whatever I was blabbing about a minute ago there. Dude, you're going to Furnace Fest 2? Bro, it's going to be so fun. Have you been before? Has anyone in here been to Furnace Fest before? It's like, that'll be, that'll be new for me. Gotta see the shed. I um I had never been to Birmingham until just a couple months ago uh, in February we did a show there and did some like photo shoot stuff around the Birmingham like city area and we drove by Furnace Fest or like this I uh, was it Sloss or whatever we we drove by that facility so like I saw the shed 
but I did not get to like go in it or anything. But first time, first time, never been. Yeah, I've never been either. I'm. I'm it's, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. There's definitely a lot of reasons I wanted to go, but one was definitely just the fact that it looks, or they're making it sound like it's gonna like be over, or at least not gonna be the same after this year. And I'm like, shoot, are they not gonna hold it there anymore? Are they not gonna be at this location? I gotta see that at least once. Gotta see Under Oath. Gotta see they're only chasing safety in full. That right there, like, honestly sold me on it. Because I just... I love that album. For anyone that doesn't know, my initial live streaming experience was almost 10 years ago. It was, like, really kind of 2015, 2016. Um, I would hop on Facebook. Um, I would live stream on Facebook. And almost every time, like, I would be playing guitar, and I would start out with, like, something different. Like, today I'm doing, like, classic metalcore songs. Today I'm playing some deathcore. Today I'm doing some jazz guitar practice. But no matter what I started out playing, I would usually end up... I would usually end up playing They're Only Chasing Safety. I didn't usually even end up playing through the whole thing. I would just start at the front of the album and, like, play a couple songs until I was, like, tired or done or whatever. <laughs> But there's definitely a lot of streams where I like went into some, if not all, of that album. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I only just recently bought a ticket, so I'm very excited. I don't have any hotel planned yet. I don't have too much else planned. I just know that I have a ticket. I'm very happy about that. Oh, come on. Hey, yo. Yeah. Honestly, like, especially, like, sooner rather than later, because I know the closer it gets, the more and more people are going to be buying them up, and I would imagine they'll start raising the prices, like, if the demand go up and up. So, I mean, and I'm, I'm giving this suggestion as someone who has not yet gotten my own hotel, so don't get me wrong, like, it's not like I'm doing great at following my advice, but <laughs> definitely something I need to consider. Bro, it, I, I mean, I know I'm just so biased. I'm not saying, I don't, I, I'm not saying this is like an absolute blanket statement, but, or an absolute objective statement, whatever, but to me, I just love that album. To me, it is just so good. It has such a great flow. I feel like sometimes with, with a lot of albums, like, I'll listen to like the first half, and you know, you kind of get to the midway point with maybe something like the, the climactic song of the album. And then like the last half, the back nine, just feels like eh, kind of a drag. And even though in a, in some ways I could say that for this album, like I definitely love Boy Brush and Red, Reinventing Your Exit, It's Dangerous Business, you know? Like I love those songs probably the most. But at the same time, even so, I could absolutely start right after It's Dangerous Business and just listen to the back half of the album and I still love it, like, so much. It's just the whole thing is just such a good flow. That I've always, like, said, or at least since, like, getting into it, um, I have definitely have said that that would be, like, my desert iron. I yeah, Desert Ireland. That would be my Desert Island album if I was ever stranded and could only have one album to listen to for the rest of my days. It's just got such a good mix, you know? It's got some heavy, it's got some emotional, it's got some great choruses, it's got some great riffs, like it's just, it's the whole package, you know? The package deal. What more could you want? Uh. You haven't listened in full? Oh man. I would argue it's worth it. I would definitely argue that it is worth it. Oh shoot, now it's getting real. 
I lo and I love other Under Oath stuff too. Like like that is my favorite album, but like I do love uh, Disambiguation. I do love um, here. I'm forgetting the names now. Of course, Find the Great Line and um, Disambiguation. I haven't listened too much. I've listened through it all the way a couple times, but not nearly as much as their own case of safety. To be fair, but, so. Oh! What? Wow, that was a clean one shot. Oh, please give me the super power. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me see what I got on my battle pass real quick. Um anyways, anyways. All my yapping to say. Lost the sound separation. Good one too. Anyways, all that all to say to say. Good stuff. I really do. I love the band. It's a good band. Good music. Good tunes. Right. Dang, almost got this Medusa, right? Cool. Oh. Gorgon. Zeus. Artemis. Cool. Hades. What the? Satan. Dude, I that's that's what I'm saying, man. That's what I'm saying. Define the Great Line is it's a great album such a great album but just to, to me i just you know to me it just they're only chasing safety hits a little bit better but that's just that's just my subjective statement you know that does not oh i, I thought it was highlighting this guy but that does not look like him what the titan flame hades that's kind of cool what all so i still need to hire characters or revive squad mates okay Currently reinstalling Fortnite. <laughs> nice. Um, that is fair. That I do get that. Um, just in regards to like kind of whatever you're listening to, being dependent on what show you have coming up. Like, I definitely do relate to that. Um, I've been listening to Thy Art Is Murder a lot because I've been seeing them. So I've been listening through Godlike a lot more. Um, I had jammed through it a couple times, like the day it came out, um, and like that surrounding weekend, and then hadn't really gotten back into it. So I've been jamming that one a lot. Um, what else have I been jamming? Let's see. I've been jamming a couple of the new albums, like the new Alpha Wolf and the new Ingested. Those are both really sick. Really been enjoying those. The new Knock Loose single has been sick. I'm looking through, I'm just going through my phone right now. I'm just going through all my stuff. And I've got like a lot of, like you can see a lot of those are just all like demos and stuff of mine that I've been working on. So that's honestly been a lot of what I've been listening to as well. Because who doesn't like to listen to their own music, you know? Why not? Yo, Chelsea Grin. Did you see the announcement? Did you see the announcement they like just dropped a little bit earlier? Um, Josh, the guy who is in Darko, you know, he like does guitar and drums and stuff in Darko. He joined Chelsea Grin. He's their new drummer, um, which I think is sick. I think that's a cool fit. I was sad to see Pablo officially leave because, you know, he's been in the band for like 12 years and has been absolutely monstrous and crazy just with all the writing he's done. So I'm pretty sad to see him leave, for sure. But, uh, Josh is a great, great drummer too. Killed it in Blast Talk. Killed it in here. Killed it in this fight. Uh, kills it in Darko. So yeah, I'm, I'm hyped that he's in Chelsea. I think that was cool. Infinite Death is sick. D yeah, that's a sick one for sure. I forget about that EP sometimes. It's classic. Um, post rock and black metal with some K-pop. I love that mix. That's awesome. I love that. You should uh, you should send me like some good black metal or something because I have been. I was like talking to a friend about this, and like I don't really have any black metal bands that I can think of where I'm like, yo, that is like my style right there. But like I I want. I feel like I want to. I feel like there's got to be some. 
that like just fit better for what I envision. That like I've definitely done stuff where I feel like I'm doing what I think is black metal and I enjoy that. But I don't know. I just I would be interested. So feel free to send me any black metal tracks that you jam. If you think there's any bangers worth checking out. Um. Yeah. Dude, I like. I have Spotify, but I barely ever use it because of the fact that it's like all of my demos feed into my phone on Apple Music. And I like being able to listen to them and go back and forth between demos and and other like you know playlists and stuff without having to like switch apps which is such like a you know that's such like a first world problem sounding kind of, that's like that's so silly to even say like, oh i hate i hate having to switch between spotify and apple music it's so time consuming and painful it's so silly i know but alas that's where i'm at in life so i like being able to have apple music and have everything in one place and that's that. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. A Chelsea Grin tour with Darko and was it like Ammonia? Ammonia? Whatever. Ammonia. Oh my gosh, dude. If, if they did that tour. If that was a tour, if that ever happened, like I would, I would drive upwards of like six, seven, maybe even eight hours, and like get a hotel overnight to see that. Like, and I would not do that for many. Not that I don't care, but just because that's you know that's a lot. It takes a lot of time, money, ask off work sometimes depending on when it is. So like, a lot of investment for something like that. But like for that kind of tour, like, ooh, that's that would be sick. That would be real sick. Yeah, dude, definitely. Please, please feel free to hit me up. I definitely would love to do whatever you suggest. And I know, dude, I love the auto shotgun. It's so good. I'm still getting used to the Iron Warrior, because that one, it's not quite auto, right? I mean, I don't know. Well, yeah. Oh. And here, I just dropped the auto shotgun. Actually... I do love the auto, but I would like to try and get something better than a gray one if I'm going to stick with it. Birmingham is not quite as far. Or wait, no, no, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. I'm wrong. It, it's not as quite It's not quite as far for you as it is for me, I guess, is what I was going to say for whatever reason. Um, if I was to drive straight there, it would be like seven plus hours. And that does not factor in. Yeah, it's, it's a ways furnace fest i'll definitely be like driving up the day before have the hotel for the extended weekend and then drive home the day after which is not like i've i've only ever the only festival i've ever gone to is welcome to rockville back when it used to be in jacksonville so for me i would i would crawl out of bed around 10 a.m on a saturday on that saturday <laughs> i would get in the car around 10 30 11 I would drive 10 minutes downtown, and I'd be in the gate by 12. <laughs> um, but that's so that's that's my festival experience. Well, other than Warp Tour, I guess. To be fair, to be fair, I did go to a couple Warp Tours. Um, I think at least two in Orlando, which was like two hours away. Plus, Warp Tour was like usually over by like 8 p.m., 8:30. So that kind of helped too, because you're not like I wasn't staying there till like 11, which. Even in that case, like I go to shows and stay out there till like 11 and then drive home after from Orlando, so it's not really that bad. Um, two hours is a lot better than like seven ish. I don't even talk to oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Secretly, I just wanted to die so I could reply better. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think that's smart. I definitely would say that is smart to do. I forgot that we were we, we talked about Furnace Fest, and I guess I forgot to mention um, that I had gotten the ticket. That was really recent. I, I got it just within the last like week. It was like right when 
like a, an hour or two before the tier two like ended. But yeah, I'm hyped. Snipers, I love snipers. I um, I will say I have been enjoying the DMR recently. Just since that one, you can kind of do like boom, boom. You know, it's like a lot quicker. Whereas the I don't know bolt action or whatever, that one takes a long time to reload or at least re. You know, but I mean, if I can get a good shot with it, I do love it. My problem is just sometimes I'm not crazy precise. But sometimes I, I mean, I, sometimes I surprise myself and I'm able to get like a headshot and get a kill like right off the bat. So that's nice if that happens, but I'm not super consistent. Of course, feel free to add. I'm just kind of playing solo right now just for streaming and whatnot, but feel free to add. And um, my, my username is literally just my name. It is Robert Manzoni, M-A-N-Z-O-N-E. <laughs> nice, simple username let the whole world know my legal name it's perfect super smart <laughs> yeah that's okay that's a good point too so snipers love snipers when they have a good scope like for me i i love the full long as possible scope i don't care i don't care too much for like the shorter range scopes on the sniper like i like those on like an smg or an ar or something that's fine but yeah, if I if I have a DMR or a sniper, like I I definitely prefer having the long, what is it, 16 times scope or something. I definitely prefer having that. Um, if I get like a purple or a gold sniper and it's got like a red dot or something short, like I'll go ahead and take it. I'm not gonna like turn it down necessarily, but I'll definitely replace it if I can find something better. Four times. Four times is good too. I mean, at least that one, it's got a little bit better distance to it for sure. Where? Where? Oh. Where? oh my god. Master Chief. Master Chief. Oh! Uh. <laughs> Ain't even know what hit him. <laughs> dude seriously i honestly because especially in that case it's like it's so close to perfect it's so close that's one thing that i will say i'm not as crazy about with this new update is just how many of the workbenches they removed like without there being vaults in a lot of the big cities anymore you go in there and you can maybe get like a one or two gold chests maybe i've seen a blue chest like once or twice which is kind of crazy but you can maybe get a gold chest or two, a little bit of stuff, but no workbenches hardly anywhere. There's a lot harder to find, at least. So, I, if I can find a gold sniper and a workbench, or, like, sorry, a gold sniper without a scope and a workbench. I love that. I will definitely enjoy that in that case. But. And, I mean, sometimes, like, I don't know. Sometimes I'll still just try and make do with a uh, sniper even if it's got like the shortest range sight but definitely just not quite my cup of tea oh oh my god Whoa. I was not even looking very well I don't know how I made it out of that that's crazy Caleb, remind me, uh, do you have, what other, what other shows do you have coming up? I know you mentioned Chelsea Grin. Is that the Chelsea Grin one along with Devil Wears Prada or there's like two or three like kind of cool tours that they are on because I, I felt like there was a there's a, a couple weeks there where it's like every day I was seeing a new thing that they were on <laughs> which is cool I mean it's great but I remember seeing them with fit for king on one something else
Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, dude. I am so, I'm so happy for you, but I'm also so jealous that you are going to so many killer shows. That's awesome, dude. That is so sick. I'm glad to hear though. Like genuinely, I'm so happy to hear that. You'll, if you go, so if you're going to be at Chaos and Carnage, if you get any videos of Face Yourself or Humanity's Last Breath, I would go ham over that. Because I'm not able to go to it, I don't think. Tampa, which is just a little too far for me with some other traveling I'll be doing around that time. But, um, and I, honestly, I would really just be going for those couple. Oh, we are so back. You know it. We're so back. We're so back. Um, but yeah, I am, I, I, Humanity's Last Breath and Face Yourself. Very excited for those two. What's up, Lane? How are you doing today, fam? You having a good one? I haven't gotten a dub yet. I got down to ninth place on one, and then I got wrecked. Very embarrassing. Sure, man. I'd, I'd be down. That's that's cool. I'm probably gonna probably gonna be off around three-ish. Um, but yeah. If things up for me at time, at least one, I'd love to. Oh. And at least he can get me added so he can Oh yeah, Caleb, I, I was going to say Convictions, that tour, they added a Jacksonville date. I think we talked about that. I think you even messaged me about that too when that came up. So that'll be cool. I'm very excited for that. Hoping to be able to go at least. Um, yeah, I... Yeah, dude. You're, oh man, you're gonna have so many, so many good experiences at those. That's so sick, dude. Um, <laughs> I only get dubs. I lose all the time. Relatable. Um, yeah. I, I mean, don't, don't. No pressure, of course. But if you get anything for humanity's last breath and face yourself, would love to see. I was a uh, a couple years ago. I did like the total deathcore vocalist competition. Got the top fifteen. Um, and Yasmin from Face Yourself was also in the top 15. So I was really hyped for her just to see, like, sh very shortly after that, she, like, joined Face Yourself, and that just, like, took off like crazy, and I'm, I'm just happy to see the, uh, the glow up there, I guess, for lack of a better word. Oh, the, it's the one-off headlight. Okay. Dude, honestly, like, that's sick. And I'm sure that'll be a great time. I have not... Well, okay, I was going to say I haven't seen them in years. That's not true. I saw them, like, six months ago. And it was amazing. Their tightness live just will never cease to amaze me. It is just so enthralling. And, I mean, to me, it's like it's beyond just, like, heavy... It's just like crazy, like how tight and how great the sound is and everything. Like I just, it's, I love it. Is that Meow Schools? Oh, there. Whoa! Oh. What the? Get out of my car! <laughs> oh no! Oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding me. Oh! 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 Nope. Oh my gosh, my mouse. No. No. Oh! What? What? Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I'm gonna die. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So scared. 
Okay. Alright. Alright. Everything's okay. Everything's good. All good. No death. No death. Oh, good. Thank you for sending that. Yeah, I'm excited to check them out. Appreciate that, dude. That was so good to get to hang at uh, Gideon a couple weeks ago. That was so fun. Oh, my God. Oh! What the... Iron Maiden. <laughs> I mean, hey, you know, classic. I'm sure it'd be a great time. I'm sure they put on a great show. I've seen like pictures and they have like some crazy setups sometimes for sure. Top 17, top 17. Ah. Oh no! No, 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 Dang it. <laughs> uh, tell me about it. <laughs> you haven't seen me get killed yet, huh? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Ain't no way bro just said Fortnite in a song on Fortnite. That's like breaking the fourth wall right there. The fort wall. I'll see myself out. <laughs> that's that's what I figured. <laughs> that's hilarious. That's a fun move. Oh, I keep forgetting to thank the bus driver. I think I've only got to do it once more and then I get a quest reward or whatever. Turn my phone off, and I don't want to turn the chat off. Jail, straight to jail, straight to jail. All right. Um. So I've come here two, three times now. I think Zeus has been engaged in a fight every time. I still keep thinking of that one fight I was in where the guy was like up in the air doing the lightning bolt and I shot him and killed him. That was funny. I'm pretty proud of that. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Alright. Gotta stay locked in. Cannot be getting out of focus on this one. This is the one after all. <laughs> Just 
pulled back to the underworld. I love some of the like death announcements or whatever they whatever they're called title cards. I don't know. Just the way it words it. Nope, doubts. Failed to land correctly. So silly. Love that. Hmm. I should be like jamming some of these. Oh, but then I'll get my YouTube channel stricken. I like logged on and went to start this stream and saw a little warning about like a community guide violation or something for like having a song Hero. playing in the background. Welcome. Good work. Whoa, I mean, good work. Sorry, I leaned against the button. So Zeus wants to end mortal kind. This reminds me of that, uh, the Greek no themed Ubisoft game. It's like ancient Greece. It's called uh, Immortals Phoenix Rising. Unite, You'll hear like Zeus and Poseidon or something like giving Humanity monologues and narration throughout the game. Wrath. And it's always so silly. Like it's, it's just like this comical like 24-7. Your trials begin soon. Oops, I hit the wrong button. I was leaving on the wrong button. So silly. Stricken disturbs. <laughs> Dude, have you seen them live? They're cool. They're really fun live. I love that song. Guitar Hero 3. Oh! No! Shooty McGee. We're doing so much shooting. There's not any good shooting. Taco Taco. Oh, wow. I wonder what kind of drama Ronnie will bring up surrounding that show. In that tour. I think I've only seen Falling in Reverse once, and it was like at a warp tour where they had the they had like two main stages like next to each other, so they kind of would do like one band's playing over here while they're setting up on the other side, and then when the other side starts, they'd set up on this side. So it was honestly cool. You could stand there and basically hear nonstop music the whole day, um, minus like maybe 30 seconds or a minute in between, like one band ending and the other starting. So that was always really sick. But nonetheless, I remember being there. And I think Falling in Reverse was playing at the stage next door. So then they, after Falling in Reverse finished, someone started. I can't even remember who I was seeing. I just remember I saw Falling in Reverse. <laughs> but they were cool. Oh my gosh. No. Oh. 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 Oh, come on. You silly bruv. Classic Rodney. Classic. I heard a knock up on my door the other day! You know, Ronnie moment. I do like the, <laughs> the video where he's like mocking himself over that. It's pretty funny. I cooked that fool. A medium rare. If only. Oh! They play that song. I'm sure they do. <laughs> this is the heaviest song you'll ever freaking hear. I heard a knock up on my door the other day. Oh, oh. That works. That works. That works too. Caleb, you need to change your username, man. I am decent at guitar. Come on. Stop lying. You gotta change it to like, I am killer at guitar or something along those lines.
I keep getting a little symbol saying that my Wi-Fi is like low or like the Wi-Fi signal is not working well. I don't know. I don't know. Whoa! You got to see all three endings live? That's honestly pretty sick. That caliber TV video of that like popped off like crazy, dude. That was so cool. I love the I love the variety, honestly. I really did. <laughs> Man. So good. The fear keeps me alive. I think, like, one thing that does, like, get me with him is the fact that it's, like, as annoying and kind of, like, controversially silly he is, he is still a good vocalist. And he's great at marketing, and he's great at just doing what he does, you know? And I'm sure that's one reason that he gets so much flack is because he is good at what he does while also being a total tool about it. <laughs> it's honestly just kind of funny to watch sometimes, especially like people like taking pride and getting blocked by him or whatever. What in the world is going on? Um, like, oh, oh God, Ronnie blocked me. Isn't that awesome? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. <laughs> Dude, if I had turned around and gotten another kill over there, I would have flipped. I would have flipped my biscuit for real. Him and Franz. Oh, yeah, dude. That That is another great example. Franz as well, dude. I and honestly like I I used to I've seen Attila so many times and I used to love them and I definitely just hate so much about about the stuff that he says and does like I truly do but at the same time the fact that he is so good at his marketing and all that I mean it's like he's got business figured out he's just also a tool or at least got his form of business I guess I should say Nice. Let me uh, let me finish this round real quick, um, and then I'll invite you to a party, and we can play one if that sounds cool with you. By the time you're hearing that, I'll probably already be dead and be sending an invite. I don't know for sure. <laughs> so let me just see if I can get through this first real quick. Omicron. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Such a delinquent. A grown-up delinquent. Hmm. Twenty-five remaining. Okay, yeah, yeah, go for it. I'll have to adjust my microphone settings because I'm not using the normal mic that I use, so hopefully it will it will work properly, like pretty easily. Hopefully it won't give any issues. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. They're right up here. They're right behind me, aren't they? Like it. Now where are I? Oh my gosh. Oh, come on. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, there we go. Easy. Easy. Nothing, nothing to it. Oh! <laughs> 
Oh my god! Oh my gosh! No 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 no! 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 Oh, dude! Oh my gosh! Oh, that was crazy! Certified crazy moment. I am very proud of that strain of plays, though. That was that was pretty cool. <laughs> Okay, let me adjust, let me adjust this mic, hold on. Okay, I think it's good. Let's see what happens. Wow, that was so close. Yo, do you hear me? Okay, I'm, I hope that this is working correctly. Oh, shoot, shoot. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Yo, hello. Hello? You hear me? Can okay? you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Nice. I, I did not mean to leave the party. I was trying to click something else <laughs> and accidentally. <laughs> How's it going, dude? Yeah, it's it's going pretty good. It's going cool. pretty good. My bad. What were you going to say? Hmm? What were you going to no, say? I didn't say anything. Oh. I didn't say anything. Cool. Hold on. One sec. I need to find a charger. Yeah, my no controller, My controller is about to die. Uh-oh. <laughs> One sec. I got one right here. Yeah, yeah, you're good. All good. All right, and I think we're good to go. Sweet. I'm gonna give you my best. I'm gonna do the best that I can. <laughs> but that ain't saying. I, 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 I. I'll try. I'll try. I'll try my best. I'll, I'll try my best as well. I can't promise that I'll be any good. <laughs> That's okay. I yeah. I haven't played in quite quite some time. That is absolutely fine. <laughs> so how many? Uh, if I may ask, if I may ask, and if this is a secret, then no stress, no worries. But um. How many songs are you looking to have on this album? Uh, well, I don't, I don't really keep things secret. So okay. if you have questions, you can just ask them. Uh, so far there's seven, and okay. uh, I'm we're sick. pretty much gonna stick to just those seven. Yeah. Uh, we may, I think I, I tracked like I may think maybe fifteen songs. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, and we just whittled it down to seven. It's still at like a cool. fifty-three minute runtime. Nice. So, so this the seven we have, we're we're pretty confident about. That's awesome. I think that's really cool too. Like, to to not like just throw out every single thing you have on there. Like, but instead, to, yeah, to really say like, okay, this is what I really think fits best, and I don't want to flood it with stuff that doesn't quite work as well. Yeah, whatever, you know? I think that's cool. I know I heard that. Um, you know, invent animate. I'm sure, right? Yeah. So I know I heard with them with Heavener while they were working on that, they had like forty something songs that they had written and <laughs> like kind of gotten to point where they could have like used them kind of as is. But I think yeah. just, they said they were like, you know, we had like forty something songs, but we just wanted to pick like I don't know the ten or however many is on the album. Yeah. Kind of whittle it down to like the best of the best. And I was like, man, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, where would you like to drop? Any spots stand out? To uh, you? I'm down. I'm down to drop anywhere. Okay. Uh, let's uh, go to let's go to Pleasant Piazza, coming up there on the right. If that works. I like that spot. All right. Have you have you played in a while? Have you oh shoot! No. You're good. You're fine. I jumped. I dropped. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You're All right. Good. Well, I, I was in the middle of adjusting my settings. The game <laughs> audio is way too loud. Oh yeah. 
But yeah, uh, I, I haven't played in a while on console. Okay. Uh, I downloaded the mobile version of it through like some cool. like third party thing. <laughs> Wait, on like an iPhone so, or on Android? Yeah, I have Android, okay, so okay. I I have more privileges than <laughs> iPhone users. <laughs> that is honestly true. That is honestly true. I'll give you that. Alright. Uh, I hope I don't die. I have to adjust my settings more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me, I'm gonna try and come over to you. I'll try and see if I can right. some guard. Hold on. I've got I'm like somewhere. on the roof up somewhere. Okay. I've got someone. Alright. Oh, okay. oh, that's much better. I can actually hear you now. Oh, good, good, okay. That definitely is good. Okay, there we go. Got a couple so far. There's so many like bots, like there's like all yeah. these, uh, I don't know, it's just crazy. And they always like go hitting the walls with their melee weapon. It's just it's so weird. Yeah. It's fun though. I'd rather just like <laughs> kind of you know, jump around, just sure. not really care about what's going on. That is fair. That's a good point. I do get that. Yeah. It, it's 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 a lot better than, like, having tryhards that are building skyscrapers. <laughs> oh, dude, that's so true. That is true. I, yeah, I had not really played Fortnite. Whoops. I had not really played Fortnite until they added the no-build mode. And once they added that, oh, I yeah. like, oh, I'm in. Yeah once, yeah, once they added that, I, like... I, for like a month straight, I just yes. was playing Fortnite every day. Right. Did you, when did you like hop in? Was it like around like last summer or so? I think that's kind of what uh, I Yeah, around that time. Nice. I, I tried playing it like back in the day when it released. Uh huh. Uh, oh, but gee. that, it just was not fun. It was just not fun. I remember, uh, and I hadn't seen this in like a decade, but then I like looked it up and found it. I remember there was an old trailer for Fortnite where it made it look like a survival horror game. You remember that? Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. I think the original plan was to make it kind of like PUBG, because PUBG has like a story mode type what? thing you can play, like a PvE. I didn't know that. Yeah. Cool. I played PUBG but a ton it, at first, yeah. but I didn't know that. It came, yeah, it came in like a, a little while after the oh, okay. original release of PUBG, that but they kind of like, it was kind of going towards that direction. Okay. Uh, and so that's what all those original trailers were, but I think they just went full into the Battle Royale gotcha. style. I think that's cool. I think it definitely worked out for them. <laughs> it, it definitely did. Definitely yeah. did. It uh, out performs PUBG in a lot yeah. of ways. I will say I would be very interested in seeing if they ever seeing what it would be like if they ever did add the um if they ever added like that survival mode. Yeah. I just realized I had the comment. I think it'd so. be interesting. Okay. Um <laughs> Yeah, that would be that'd be kinda of cool. I do like messing around on some of the custom servers sometimes because there's so much on there. Hmm. But. Yeah, I, ju I just, like, don't have the time to, like, mess around with, like, all that stuff. Oh, sure, yeah. That is very fair. Where, uh, where do you work these days? Uh, I, I don't. Oh, okay, uh, gotcha, gotcha. I, I basically am just, like, taking, like, random courses online and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's a job in Just kind of <laughs> chilling. Make working on music all the time. Oh yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, that is cool though. Uh, what what school do you do your courses through? Is it like a specific uh, online? At the moment, I I was trying to do some, uh, and then stopped. So right now, as of now, I'm not doing any. I'm just doing like uh, basically just going on YouTube and finding like free. Uh, videos of people just yeah. teaching the courses. That's cool. So I'm not like enrolled in any schools at the moment, gotcha. but like I'm, I'm taking like little bits of 
stuff. That makes sense. There's, def I mean, especially yeah. with YouTube out there, like now more than ever, like oh, yeah. the ability to learn like anything and everything yeah. to like the fullest extent <laughs> is definitely out there. Yeah, definitely. And especially since it's free, like, especially since it's you free. know, don't, don't gotta pay for online classes when right. there's someone on YouTube giving those same classes for free. Honestly. You wanna hop in the car? Alright, yep. Yeah, I'll hop in. There we go. Nice. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna kind of just move around. <laughs> kind of move around the edge of the circle. Yeah. For the moment, at least. Let's see what happens. Um, have you played Fortnite in a while? Like since they did this update here, or is this uh, all fresh for you? This, the, all this stuff is fresh. Wow. Like I stopped right before this update. Okay. Okay. I was like out of the country in Greece and Italy when they added in like a lot of this Greek. Oh stuff. yeah, so yeah, I, like, I saw, heck? I saw on Instagram you were yeah. posting about going there. Yeah, I just thought it was hilarious. It must have been fun. Yeah, it, oh, dude, it was. It was, it was a very fun time. Yeah. Oh my! No, no! <laughs> oh no! You're stuck. Okay. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm gonna hop out. Sorry. <laughs> or you can like hop up this wall right here. So there we go. Oh yeah, so over here, do you see like little green skulls floating around you? The uh, where? Like kind of just like these little ghostly green skulls floating. Uh, I do uh. not. Oh wait. Okay. Maybe maybe you don't have them. It's basically if you go through the green lake here. Go ahead and get stuff if you want. There's a lot of yeah. good stuff for sure. Um. If you run through the green lake, you get these little green skulls that float around you. Like, do you see them on my back? Oh, yeah, I see them. So yeah, if, you, them. if you get those, what you can do is you can basically double tap the jump button, and you do a little boost. So, like, you can run through this green oh, water right here and get them. That's what that was. Yeah. yeah, I kept, like, doing double jumps, and I was like, oh, that's yeah. new. That's what that was, yep. So yeah. that's, that's one kind of cool thing about this area. Oh, here, let me, I'm going to pop this stand by me real quick. Okay. Here we go. Get some shield. Nice. There we go. All right. Nice. All right. Cool. Got some good stuff. That's hilarious. That they killed Hades or whatever, and then I killed them like right after that. <laughs> must be so mad. Sucks to suck. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. Oh, yes. Still in circle. Love to see it. Very nice. Very nice. Is that your dog in the yeah. background? I can't <laughs> yeah. hear it. Oh, I, I yeah, kept yeah. hearing barking. I kept hearing like barking the or whining something. whining and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I didn't know him. if that was in the game. Wow. <laughs> that is just... My little, my little Wheatley. <laughs> um, I remember at one point hearing talk from Mateo. Uh, he was talking about like the idea of like a Semper Metallum house, and like I remember hearing the idea of like Chris potentially like moving to Florida for that or something. I don't know if that was something they like really were diving into or if it was just like a little dream that they had. I. That sounds cool, honestly. I w I don't know anything about that. Uh, cause. Obviously, I don't work for Semper Metallum, true, true. but uh, that would be interesting. That would be interesting. I'm sure Chris would would be down for something like that. Yeah. I mean, he already he already lives with Christopher. Christopher lives with Christopher. That's always funny to say. Oh, no, that's funny. That's cool though. I didn't realize that. The yeah, they're Semper. yeah they're roommates. Yeah, Christopher oh. from Semper. Yeah, the two of them are are roommates. I did not know that. Where? Okay, so I, for some reason I thought Christopher lived. In Florida, but you know what? Maybe I'm thinking of Cole. But no, Cole lives in like Virginia or something. Right? Cole, Cole is in uh, Colorado. Colorado. Okay, I don't know where people are. I don't know. <laughs> I I barely know where anyone is either. I know Mateo is in Florida. Yep. And He's, Cole is in Mateo Colorado, is, and then like Chris in. Is for me. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I I live in the smack dab of nowhere called Shreveport. <laughs> <laughs> 
pro probably one of the worst cities in America. Dang, <laughs> really? Think so? Oh, it sucks. If you if 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 you're from Louisiana, it, you 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 know how much Shreveport sucks. Yikes. Thanks. There there's literal like social media accounts devoted <laughs> on making memes about how much it sucks. Oh. That's rough. That is rough indeed. Got oh, him. Nice. Easy. Easy team wise. Easy. <laughs> I never saw it coming. Uh you know what? I'm thinking of Cody who lives or like at That's least right. recently yeah. moved down to like Tampa or something. That's who I was thinking of. Yeah. Not Cole. Okay. Yeah, I think it's right. I haven't heard from Cody in a long time. Does he still do Semper stuff? I can't. Remember, I'm not sure. Like I'm trying to remember. I don't remember if he left Semper Metallum or not. Mm. But like I haven't heard anything from him in a while. Hope everything's going good. Like I see his posts and stuff sure. on Instagram still, but it's usually just like personal things, like yeah. going on vacation and stuff like that. Hmm. The nerve of him to not be posting more music stuff. What the <laughs> heck? Uh oh. Someone got rebooted. Ain't no Oof. way. Is that what that noise is? I hear that yeah. every now and then. I'm like, yep. what's going on? Like, there's a couple things going on. I think on, it's like so a like... boss fight. I think it's like a bot. It sounds like a boss fight oh. is starting or something like that. There is like the rift up here. This rift is about to open up and the little island is gonna pop out for us to be able to jump in. Oh, yeah. Or jump up to. That right there, you see that? Just open. Oh yeah. Hold Wanna up. go to it? Yeah, I'm down. Right here? Yeah. I'm gonna take a zip line up. That one always is like crackling for a couple minutes before it even opens, so that always sounds kinda crazy. Uh, I see someone. Oh no! Uh oh. Oh, I, I think I'm dead. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay, hold on. Uh, yeah, I got stick drift, so every time I oh. aim, it walks me forward. Oh, I forgot, no. and so I, I I went to to kill someone, and uh, I just walked off the edge. Bro. That's unfortunate. Here, I'm, I'm coming. Hold on. Yeah, I'm right down here below the uh, zip line. That's very unfortunate. That's okay, dude. That's okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I, let's oh, there see if you this are. works. I don't know if this will work, but we're gonna go for it. <laughs> oh! oh shoot! What? No! Oh, now I'm very dead. No! Now I'm very dead. Oh wait, nothing happened. Oh gosh. Okay, good. I'm so sorry about that. Not gonna do that again. <laughs> I thought that would work. That would have been so funny if that worked. That would have been crazy. Okay. Let's just. I'll just do a good old revive. <laughs> wow. <laughs> worth a shot, right? You know, for science. Uh, yeah, for, for science. It's always worth it just to <laughs> test some, test it out. Yeah. You know, you can drive a car into one of those things, and it'll you'll fly down with it, which is kind of funny. That's kind of what I was Yeah, and I, I, I mean, to be honest, like, if it, if it's... If it works driving a car into it, yeah. then like why sh why shouldn't it work? Why shouldn't that it way? work? Uh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't see uh there's some bandages over here. I don't yeah, see a med I found kit, some over here. Okay, okay, yeah. If I see a med kit, I'll All Actually right. here, here, there's a med kit that just dropped right here if you want it. Oh nice. If you, yeah. Nice, I'll come get that. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Now I just need to find the... Okay, there it is. I never know how to get around anywhere. <laughs> There's a lot of good stuff that just drops. That's good. 13 left. I don't want to jinx it. We got this. We got this? We got this. Click. Is this anything special? Like, what? If this chest is, like, marked. Is it like? I yeah, I was seeing that too. Am I gonna like? St am I gonna like start a boss fight if I open this? <laughs> no, at least not. To no, it's knowledge. just regular chess. Okay, good. Yeah, nothing happened. That would be funny though. 
That would be funny. <laughs> Someone zipped up here and I just killed them like right on the you spot. Just... <laughs> they ju they landed and then they were dead. That is so funny. Like I really want to like try to snipe someone from up here, but yeah. I don't want to fall off again. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that stinks. <laughs> Dang it. Stick graft. I've somehow yeah. been blessed to not deal with that. I don't know if I just haven't used my controllers enough or what, but I'm sure that's annoying. I am sure it's annoying for sure. Yeah. Oh. Oh, man. Ooh. Where are they at? Oh. Somewhere like right, right under this tree. Oh yeah, I see him. I see him running. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm so close to getting shot. Oh my gosh. Yes! Oh, you got him. I got him. Yes. Sweet. Wow. Oh, okay. I'm down to kind of just hang up here until we have to jump, and then we can just take this launch pad here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. Yeah. If that sounds okay. Oh shoot! All right, I hit him. Nice. Uh, I think he might be one shot. The guy down, down here. Yeah, maybe. Whoa, he just got. Me. What the? What the? Is that like an NPC? I can't get him. Okay. Hmm. Dang. Hackers, for real. Ah, uh, this would be <laughs> this would be so much easier to hit him if if I didn't have the stick drift. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay. There's two over here. Oh shoot, okay, I'm gonna hit the launch pad right over here. There we go. Um, you wanna go to like this uh I'm gonna go to this gas station for the moment. Alright. Over there. Actually, you know what? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go up to this hill. Get the high ground. Gosh, no, I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Uh, that's unfortunate because I have 16 <laughs> HP. <laughs> <laughs> I would see if I could find. You're oh, good. there's a med pack. You do your I'm gonna thing. take the med pack and then uh, I might be able to like revive you later. This is not good. That's not good. Let's see if I can clutch. Oh god. No! <laughs> uh, uh, oh, he's even got uh, Mimir from God of War on. <laughs> That's funny. Wow. Wow. Hey, you know what? That was still GG, though. I mean, we got fourth place. That was still pretty good. Top that 10. was still pretty good. I'm, that was sick. That was sick. <laughs> yeah, top 10 is pretty good. It's pretty good. That's awesome. I love that. I, uh... I, I missed the jump pad, though. I had to zipline Dale. Oh, no. Oh, man. Sorry. <laughs> 
I kind of, yeah, I kind of like bolted like real quick. Sorry about that. Yeah. But, dude, that was a good game. Thanks for playing. I definitely. Uh, that was a I, good game. I've got to go, but like I want to do more at some point. So I'm glad to glad to know. Yeah. That plays. That's yeah. Sweet. sweet. Yeah, me me and Chris, uh, Chris not often because yeah. like he's always working. But me and Chris both play every oh, now okay. and then. I'll have to get so, him added to like, at some point. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to like. Oh shoot! I just lost you. Whoop! Do you hear me? Can you hear you? Okay, wait. Now I hear you. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I agree. We'll definitely have to hop on and play some. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Sweet, dude. Well, you have a great rest of the day in the meantime. And you too, man. I'll talk uh, to you later, dude. Have a good one. Sweet. All right. Peace. Sweet. Peace out. Bye. Sweet. Thanks for hanging, y'all. Good times. More streams to come in due time. Uh, so, yeah. Till then, have a good one. Thanks for hanging. Peace out.